I'm Demery and I'm an ice climber. Can I say I do the vertical salsa instead? <laughs> we'll do two takes. Okay. <laughs> My name's Rebecca Stoges and I'm an ice climber. No idea what ice climbing was when I was young. Um, probably didn't even know until pretty late into freshman year of college. <laughs> Growing up, I would do adventure sports like things on vacation, like I'd go skiing or I'd go hiking, but those weren't things that were a part of my everyday life. Pretty much all that I did was traditional sport um, and walking around in the woods in my backyard. I really started climbing when I came to college with the Adventure Sports Center. The Adventure Sports Center at St. Michael's College takes students that may have no experience in the outdoors and trains them in a number of disciplines including climbing and paddling and mountain biking and skiing and gives you all the tools that you would need to be a competent instructor. Being a part of the Adventure Sports Center has given me a lot more confidence in a lot of the things that I do on campus and just in my personal life um, and I've just been able to do a lot of things I never would have been able to do without being a part of this. It's really just such a give and take um, and I would have never thought that I could gain this much or give this much um, knowledge to people in the context of a sport. You need a lot of it. The gear is a huge factor um, because of the price of the gear but also a lot of people don't even know what gear you would need. It's definitely worth just trying um, and trying again and then trying again and then seeing someone else try it and then trying it again because they tried it something else. Um, so making it your own climb and realizing why you're doing it. I try to think about being as efficient as I can be. Um, I used to think of climbing when I first started as kind of like if I'm not trying really hard then I'm not trying. Now I see it as more of a graceful kind of thing and how um, you're using your body in the most efficient way that you can to do as much as you can. Another thing I would say is to not be afraid to swing or kick really hard. Um, I'm not a very aggressive person, but <laughs> it does feel pretty satisfying to swing something in and have it stick. Uh, I just like the part where you get to like really just hit shit. I think I, on the base of it, I started climbing because I wasn't sure if I was afraid of heights. <laughs> um, so I remember really vividly standing at the edge of a cliff um, while I was on like a single strand of rope with this device that I just learned how to use. And I looked down and I was like, nope, not afraid of heights. <laughs> I climb because it scares me and because there's something really important about getting out of your comfort zone because it's really easy to be like, this is my thing, I'm doing my thing, I'm really good at it, and it allows you to grow a lot by being like, I have no idea how to do this thing, but I'm gonna do it anyway, I'm gonna figure it out. And I think it's allowed me to do that in more aspects of my life. It's given me a whole community that I now have access to of people who care about inclusion and care about the environment and care about all of these things that are really important to me. emotional. I really like, I'm a senior-ish, super senior, so I like reflect a lot on like how much this place has given me. Um. It's just, it's given me a lot.
I don't really know how else to describe it. A lot of times um, we go over what the goals are for these women um, during the clinic and what they want to get out of it. And um, most of the time, all they want is to feel competent um, and they just want to be able to have a conversation with someone about climbing and um, not feel like they're drowning in all these words that they don't know what they mean. Um, so it is really, really helpful to just um, build a basic knowledge base and then be able to go talk to people. Climbing is such a social sport that um, once you have that base level of knowledge, um, the first day of the women's clinic is pretty much all of that. And then um, we just go out and climb and we just talk and have a good time. There's something about being in a group of all women on a trip because all of the confidence in the room is just like 10 times more and everyone's super supportive and there's not this factor of being the only woman and everyone looking at you and knowing you're the only woman on that trip.